Uh, there are many groups in New York City who have been doing police reform work for decades and in the last few years have continued to pressure Mayor Bill de Blasio, who ran on a police a reform platform to actually make transformative change. It, on Saturday, Amy, we marched from 110th and Central Park West, which was Frederick Douglass Monument, all the way to Washington Square Park. Over 50,000 people came out with us, and we had a set of demands. And one of the demands was defund the police and reappropriate funding to youth and communities. We also called on him when the anti-chokehold bill gets to his desk. I don't want to see him. I don't want to hear his voice. I want him to put ink to paper and to sign that anti-chokehold bill. We need his leadership right now. So what he can tell me that he's going to defund the police or reappropriate funding, but we have to see that. We have to see him implement that. He has lied over and over to black and brown communities in New York City. So we want to see uh, the 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 we want to see the actual tangible uh, things that he's going to be do be doing for us. And Mayor De Blasio was long considered a progressive mayor. Uh, your thoughts on this and what has happened since? And also Governor Cuomo's attacks on him and his approach to uh, law enforcement, Linda. <laughs> If Mayor Bill de Blasio is a progressive, Amy, please don't ever use that term to describe someone like me. Uh, Bill de Blasio is not a progressive. Um, he ran as a progressive, but when he became the mayor, the NYPD started running him. I always wondered who was the actual mayor of New York City. Was it the mayor himself or was it the NYPD? And so for me, what we're looking for from Mayor Bill de Blasio, he only has a little time left right now. Um, and he could really go out here with a legacy of really transforming the New York City budget, of defunding the police department, of actually listening and implementing the visions of black and brown communities. We protest, Amy, all the time in New York City, black-led organizing, brown people-led organizing. We know how to keep our community safe. We are trained in de-escalation. We are trained in bystander intervention. And we have seen the brutality of the New York Police Department, not just against um, innocent, unarmed people in our communities, but also against protesters. In, in, the, in the largest or one of the largest democracies in the world, we watched the largest police force, who you remember, Mayor Bloomberg said that if they were an army, the NYPD, they would be the seventh largest army in the world. And they have been brutalizing protesters across New York City. The mayor has not asked NYPD to stand down, and we're tired of it. And I'm looking forward to seeing the New York City Council also hold the mayor accountable and not doing any handshakes with the budget unless we defund the New York Police Department.